In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the new unbeweavable bracelet using the rainbow loom. And this is what it looks like. It has this cool woven look, and it uses the same concept as my Weavezilla bracelet, only on this one the edges are different. So you will want to have your loom set up in a staggered position, so the pins are not in line with one another and you want the arrows to be facing you so that all of these opened ends are facing you. And you'll need about 200 rubber bands to make this bracelet. So I have the rainbow loom black that I'm going to use for the vertical bands that go the length of the bracelet. And then I have the jelly bands, the lime green, the ocean blue, and the red violet. So I'll be using these four colors, but you can use more or less depending on how you want your bracelet to look. So I'm going to start with the black and I'm going to go to the third pin up on the left side of the loom and the band is going to stretch straight across over to the right and you can see that I've moved the base plates a little bit away from each other just so I have room to work here and when my bracelet grows it will go down between the rows of pins and so now I have another black band that's going to go to this next pin up on the left and stretch across to the right. I'm going to go up to the next pin and do the same thing. And then one more time, it's going from the left all the way across to the right. I'm going to push those down. And now I'm going to take a band that is going to cross all of these. So it's going to go from the second pin in the center row. It's going to actually skip these next three pins, go around the right side, and it's going to end at the next pin above that. So it is a long stretch. Your bands are going to be tight. And now I'm going to take the bands on the right hand side and move them over to the left. So I'm just going to do that for all four. And now I want the bottom rubber band on the left hand side to come over the top. That's going to make a slip knot on all of these pins. And now what I'm going to do is alternate what side that these bands are going to go on. So the one that's closest to me I'll leave on the left, but what I do want to do is just take it off and just pull back and forth and make sure that slip knot is nice and tight. And now I'll do the same thing for the next one, but this time I'm going to move it over to the right. And now the next one is going to stay on the left. I'm just going to make sure it's tight. And then the one at the top here is going to get tight and move to the right. So now they're in opposite directions. And now I want to take a black band and starting here at the pin that's closest to me in the middle, I want to take my hook down through this black band and push it out to the side. Now I'm going to take this other black band, grab it on the hook, it's going to get pulled up through, and then the loose end that's in my fingers is also going to go on the hook. So you'll see two rubber bands on there. I want the bottom one to go through the top and pull this tight to make a slip knot. And that's just going to sit there for the moment. And now I want to do the same thing on the other side here. So I'll take another black band going to reach through the black band that's on the pin, take my hook and get this rubber band to come up through, put it back on, and now I'm getting this bottom band to go through the top. I want it to go at the top here of the band, making that slip knot, make sure it's nice and tight. And now we're ready to start putting the colors on. So I'm going to do three bands of green before I switch the position of the black bands. So it's always going to be starting here at the bottom, skipping the next three, going around the right hand side, and then going to that pin above. So this will be my first one. 
and I'm always going to push them down. And now second. And then one more. And so now that I have three bands on, I'm going to switch the positions of the black bands. So starting here at the bottom, the one on the left will move over to the right. And the one on the right will move over to the left. So they're just going to go opposite. And the same thing for the next ones. They're just going to move to the other side. And now what I want to happen is I want the black bands on the ends to actually come up through these green bands. So I'm going to do it when there's just three bands on to show you because it's a little bit easier to work with if you just have three bands on the pins. So what I'm going to do is take the back of my hook, push back on these three green bands. I'm going to grab the loop here, this black loop with my hook, and I'm going to pull it up through. And now I want to keep hold of this black. You can either hold it in your fingers or if you want, you can loop it on a pen, whatever you find easiest, but just make sure you don't let go of it. I'll hold it with my thumb here. Now I'm reaching my hook back inside, using the back of my hook to take these off of the pin, and now I want to slide my hook out. It's better if you use the back of your hook, that way as you pull your hook out, it has less of a chance of getting hooked on other rubber bands. Same thing for the other side here. I'm reaching down inside of these green bands and I want to get this black loop. It's kind of over here. I'm going to hook it on my hook and pull it up through. And now I'll just set this on the pin here. Make sure it doesn't come off. I'll hold it in place and I'll use the back of my hook to pull this off and then get my hook out. And now I want to place these black bands back where they belong in the middle. And push this down. And so now I'm going to do a second layer of green. It's going to be three bands again on these same pins. So starting in the middle here and just going around the next three pins and going above. Do that with three bands. And now the black bands will change positions. So the ones on the right will go to the left and the ones on the left will go to the right. And now once again, I want the black bands to come up through the green. So on the pin that's closest to me, I'm just going to use the back of my hook to push back on the green bands. Get this black band up through. It is going to be tight because these green bands are pretty tight against this pin, so just be very careful. I don't want you guys to snap your the black bands or whatever color you're working with. I'm going to set that on the pin and hold on to it and I'm going to use the back of my hook to release this. It does stretch pretty far after you let it go. It wants to pull to this side but then once you release this side it'll straighten out. So now again I'm getting this black band to come up through the three green bands and I'm just going to place this on a pin for the moment, hold it in place, and I'll use the back of my hook to release this and get my hook out. And now the black bands need to go back where they belong in the middle. Same thing for the other side here. Just get it right back in the middle and push this down. Looks like this one got hooked around here somehow. Okay. So now we're on to our next color, so it's blue. Again, I'm going to do three rubber bands of blue. And if 
you wanted to, you don't actually have to use three bands. You can do one band or two bands, but the look that I showed you at the beginning is three bands every time. And now I'm going to switch the position of the black bands. And these center pins do get in the way a little bit as you're switching positions, but you just have to work around that. And now I want the black bands to come up through the blue. And as I said, I'm showing it after I put on every layer. I'm moving these black bands up through. But technically, you could put two layers on, so you would have six bands, and then bring the black up through. It would be a little bit less steps to have to do, but it's a little bit harder to pull them up through when you have six really tight bands on. So I'm pulling this black band up through, being very careful, since it is tight. I'm just going to set this on the pin here. And I use the back of my hook to release this. And I can actually move this black band back where it belongs right away if you want to. And on the other side here, again, you're going down through the blue and bringing the black up. I'm going to set it on this pin for now. And then I can release these rest of these bands. And now I need the black to go back in place. And the bracelet's starting to grow here. And if you have a rainbow loom, it will just work its way out through the open area. If you have any other kind of loom that has a solid base, it's going to be a little bit trickier. You'll have to squeeze the bracelet and get it to grow out in between pins. And so now I'm going to do another layer of blue. So again, it's going to be three blue. This kind of bracelet actually is much easier to make on the Monster Tail Loom, but this particular one with four cross bands you can't do on there. You can only do three cross bands. But the Monster Tail is a lot more compact, so the bands aren't having to stretch so far. And so now I'm switching the black bands, moving them to the opposite side of where they are to do that for all four. And then I want the black bands on the end to come up through the blue. So I'm just going to push back with the back of my hook and get this black band. Stretch it out here. I'm going to hold it in place and I can release these. I'm going to move it right back in place before I go on to the other side. And now here I'm going to just grab this black, make sure that the blues all go above your hook, put it out to the side here, and I'm going to hold my thumb there and I'm going to release these. And now I can just move this back in place. Push this down. And now I'm going to do the pink. And you can see when I just put this one on here, it went below the black. I want to make sure to keep it above. So here's my second. And then my third. And now I'm going to move the black bands on the opposite sides. And now instead of pulling the black bands up on the ends, I'll show you what I meant by adding another layer. So I'm just going to add three more pink bands.
and now the black bands need to change their sides And so now on the ends, instead of having just three pink bands to have the black band come up through, since we did two layers, there's actually going to be six. So it's just going to be a little bit tighter, but it does save time if you do it this way, because you're only having to stop and pull the black band up every other layer. So I'm getting all six pink bands behind my hook, grabbing this black band very carefully pulling it up through. I'm going to place it on this pin and now I can put my hook down through, use the back to release this, and I'm going to put this black band back on the right pin here. And same thing on the other side. Make sure these six pink bands are above my hook. I'm going to grab the black Pull it up through. See, I'm not pulling it all the way up through because it's so tight. I'm just pulling it up far enough to put on the pin here. And now I can use the back of my hook to release these. Carefully get my hook out. And then this goes back in the right spot. So whatever you feel comfortable with, if you want to pull the black band up after every layer or after every other layer, it's up to you. So at this point, I feel like my black bands are getting pretty tight, so what I want to do is extend them. And in order to do that, it's really not that hard. I'm just going to put one black band on all four of these pins and stretch it across like we did at the beginning. And now it's important that where the bands currently are that they stay on that side. So I'll start at the top here. This one's on the right side so I want to make sure that it stays on the right. So I'm moving it over the top and then I'm bringing the left side over to the right so now it'll stay on the right. And I want the bottom band to come over the top to make that slip knot. And now I'm just going to pull this nice and tight and then I'm going to put it back on the hook. Now the biggest problem with this bracelet is you need to keep the layers tight and it's a little bit hard to do when you first add the next band to extend it because it just makes it that much looser. But every time we do a layer I'll show you how you just have to pull it tighter, pull it up more, just at the beginning. So now the next band is on the left so we want to stay on the left. So I'm taking the bottom band and pulling it over and this time I'm moving the right side over to the left so it stays on that side and then the bottom rubber band is coming over the top making the slip knot. I'm just going to pull this nice and tight and leave it on that side. Now on this next one we need it to stay on the right so the right band is coming over from the bottom and now I'm moving this band over to the right and the bottom band is coming over the top and it's going to make this slip knot, make it nice and tight and now on this last one I need it to stay on the left so the bottom left is coming off and the right is moving over to the left and the bottom band's coming over and we'll make this tight. Now I also need to extend these black bands that are on the end. So I'm going to take another black band. I'm going to do the same thing that I did in the beginning of the video. I'm just going to reach my hook down through this black band that's on the pin and push it out. Now I'm going to hook this black band and pull it up through the black one that's on the pin and put the other end back on here so I have two bands on my hook and I'm just pulling the bottom one through the top and pulling tight to make that slip knot and now I'm going to do the same thing for the other end here 
just reaching my hook through the black band, grabbing this new black band and pulling it up through. And now I'm just going to make that slip knot, pulling one end through the other. Try to get it like on the back side here, get it even, and then pull that tight. Put this back on here. And so I'm ready to continue on with my next layer. So now I'm back to green, so I'm doing three rubber bands. And so I'm just going to continue on doing the same pattern. So I'm putting on the three bands in each layer. And then I need to switch the position of the black bands. So here is where I told you they're a little bit loose. So as you're pulling them over, just make sure you pull up on this to make it tight within the bracelet. And for the first couple sets of bands, it is going to be on the loose side. So just pull it up so it's nice and tight within the bracelet. Just switching sides here. And after you do a couple of layers, you won't have to worry about it being so tight anymore. But if you don't want to do this, it's going to look looser within the bracelet. Some parts are going to look tighter and some parts are going to look looser. And so now I want the black band to come up through. I've only put on one layer, but that's okay. So I'm getting these green bands behind my hook. And I want to grab this loop, this black loop that I just put on. and it needs to come up through. I'm going to put it on this pin and now I can use the back of my hook to release the rest here. And now the same thing on the other side here, reaching down through all of the green. And I'm going to grab this black loop. It's going to come up through it's always easier to do when you've just added a new loop and release and put this back where it belongs and on the other side too here I have to put this back where it belongs in the middle and push down so I am just going to continue on in the same pattern and when I feel like these black bands are getting too tight, I'll follow the same steps to add the extension bands on. And just make sure when you add the new extensions to keep pulling the rubber bands tight within the bracelet just until you get the first couple of layers done. So I will fast forward here. When you have your bracelet to the length that you'd like it and you're ready to take it off of the loom, you need to get all of these bands that are still on the pins looped through each other so that it doesn't come apart. Now with this bracelet, depending on where you left off on these bands, you might have a little bit longer bands to work with or you might have a little bit of shorter bands to work with. So it all depends on where your band placements are with these cross bands. So mine are a little bit on the long side. What I'm going to do is take the band that is on the bottom left and I'm going to move it to the bottom right. And I'll do the same thing with the other one here that's on the top left. One that's farthest from me. I'm just going to move that down. And as I said, you can see they're on the loose side. Yours might be a little bit tighter than that. I'm going to take the bottom rubber band and pull it over the top. And I'm going to do the same thing again here. It's going to be a little bit harder since it's loose. It needs to come off here. And now I'm going to take the band that's closest to me in the middle and I'm going to also move that to that next pin up on the right. 
and I'll take the one that's on the top middle and move that down diagonally to the right and then I'm going to actually use two clips for this since it's a little bit of a wider bracelet so I'm going to take these two rubber bands get them on my hook and I'm going to put them on a clip here just make sure they both get on there and then I'm going to do the same thing for the two bands on the other side here get them on my hook and put a clip on them now I can take this off and as you can see these are on the loose side so let me just make this a little bit tighter here and you can see that these black bands are pretty loose here. Now when I finished my other bracelet, the white bands were pretty tight. So what I was able to just loop them through one another and it turned out okay. But with this one, with them being so loose, I'm going to have to tighten these up. So actually, I'm just going to take this clip off of the one side and I'm just going to make a knot in this. Take these two black bands and tie them like you would be tying a shoelace. Make a loop and pull it through and I'll do that two times. I just have too much length here on this. And now I will take my hook and pick up these two loops And now I can put the clip back on. And that way it'll be a lot tighter. And I'll do the same thing on the other side here. So I'll just take these two rubber bands, take the clip off. And I'll just tie them two times here. It really doesn't matter how you end a bracelet. As long as you have all the loose ends tied up, it will be fine. And so now I'll put them back on my hook. And I can get them back on the clip. And now that way it's a little bit tighter at the end. And so now I'll just go to the other end here. I'm going to pick up some of this black band. And I'll hook this through. And on the other side again, I'll pick up the black bands. And I'll put them through the clip. And then here is my bracelet. So you can see this basket weave pattern. And then of course here's the other one that I showed you at the beginning with a rainbow. I hope that everyone enjoyed making their unbeweavable bracelet. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook. Post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page. And please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!